It's your boy JT coming at you with another video for Castle Clash. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I was like, before I started this video, I was like, man, I need to change up my intro. I've been doing the same intro for like five years. I'm like, mm, nah, not quite worth it. People still like to hear the what's going on, guys. This is JT here back at you with another Castle Clash video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is Castle Clash's social media. I just recently saw on their Facebook page, they're doing a pretty awesome event that I figured a lot of you guys would like to join. But not only that, my free-to-play probably soon is going to be walking around with a Demo Gorgon. And I know you guys are going to be like, JT, bro, where'd you get that Demo Gorgon? Well, here is where. Probably not going to get Demo, but... Just like keeping my hopes up because I'm like, man, Demo would be nice for my free-to-play account. Would definitely help me out in Lost Battlefield. So let's go ahead and get into the post. So we got IGG is turning 13 this week. That's pretty crazy. IGG's been around for 13 years. Goodness gracious. Castle Clash is one of IGG's first mobile games. Wow, if Castle Clash is one of their first mobile games, what were they around doing? Maybe PC type stuff? I know that IGG does do like slot machine type games and other casino games. That's where you see like, let's say Hero Rolls or Thunder God's Gift is a great example. They probably just pulled that from their slot machine and was like, oh yeah, this will input perfectly in Castle Clash. And so that's why we all waste all our gems from Thunder God's Gifts and never really receive anything. Hopefully they change the odds on that and makes it a little bit lower just so we can possibly get a Levanta on a free-to-play account, right? That'd be nice. So we got, what does it say? As one of IGG's first mobile games and has been around with everyone for over five years, which is crazy to think about because I joined Castle Clash probably like three or four months in, I believe. I started out right when they came out with uh, Alanacore. Yeah, they came out with Alanacore and I was like, wow, this hero's crazy, right? He has a shield, can't be damaged through. Definitely want to get this bad boy. I think I even spent 100 maybe $200 rolling for him, which is out of this world crazy because back in the day, you couldn't just be like, oh, I want to buy an Alanacore with 6,000 shards, right? No, you couldn't do that. You had to spend those shards smartly on leveling up your heroes because at the time, heroes could only go to 9 and 9, but man, it was insanely hard to get shards. Not only that, you had to manual all the dungeons, right? You couldn't just go in and just sit there and sweep. You literally had had to just run. I remember running the 40 shard dungeon over and over and over again. One time I think I did it 12 hours in one day and ended up racking up, you know, tens of thousands of shards. And people were like, man, JT, how are you getting this many shards? You're cheating, bro. But no, I wasn't cheating. I was just putting dedicated time into that just basic normal eight dungeon, which is crazy, right? So we got leave or wait do you have anything to say to igg and castle clash leave your wishes wishes below and we'll select 13 winners for 1500 gems plus one demo gorgon card pretty solid amount i mean 13 winners not that bad also a hundred winners for 1300 gems plus one assure card so if you don't have assure go ahead and sign up for this i mean it's super simple all you got to do is leave your igg id and a couple of other details right 300 winners for 800 gems there's probably hardly going to be over 500 participants for this event. Maybe now that I made the video, there's an extra 500. I'm not exactly sure. But either way, you're going to have like a 50-50 chance to get at least 800 gems. You know what I mean? Maybe even more than that. 1,300 plus Asura or possibly a demo and 1,500 gems, right? So here are the rules. We got each IGG ID is only eligible to receive the stated prize once Entries must be your own, no copycat, so don't copy whatever I say right here. Submissions must not include vulgarities, profanities, or any other content deemed unsuitable for all ages contest. Failure to comply will result in disqualification. So just say something nice, obviously, right? IGG and the Castle Clash team reserve all rights to the final interpretation of this event, its entries, rules, and rewards. All right, so it says, do you have anything to say to IGG and Castle Clash? Just in case they were watching this video, I figured I might as well speak up a little bit. You know, I feel like Castle Clash, this state of the game right now, still a ton of fun. I log on my free-to-play, both of my free-to-play accounts every single day, get all the stuff done, still enjoy doing it. However, I do wish that free-to-play accounts in general had a little bit more access to things that, you know, heavy pay-to-play accounts are getting, like Igniting Stones, Zenistones and easier ways to level up the destiny as well because it's really frustrating getting all these keramic rocks but not actually being able to upgrade since the requirements are so high in the destiny you basically have to have all the heroes in the game to upgrade certain destiny levels which is 
kind of a negative thing in my opinion because I don't have any of these dragons on my free to play or quite a bit of the hard to get uh, gem rollable heroes, right? So if you don't have those, it's really tough to get heroes to 13 or 13 in this game. Really wish those requirements were lowered just a little bit, maybe even taken out to where you don't need all the heroes in certain sections, right? You can just level things up as you have the correct materials. Now, another thing for free to play I feel like they just need to change all the game rewards for all the game modes because they're just out of date, man. Squad Showdown still giving out 50 shards plus a little bit of fame at the end of the week. Even Lost Battlefield, only a couple gems plus fame. You know, just not quite worth it. Guild Wars the same way. Like, these events need to hand other rewards, you know what I mean? For free-to-play mainly, not really pay-to-play. Obviously, pay-to-play can just buy these rewards, but... Free-to-play players need to be getting Igniting Stones, Zenith Stones. Like, we need to be able to break through level our heroes with no issues. And a lot more books as well. Tons of books. Implement books as a reward for some of these game modes. I mean, stick a, let's get away from fame since fame is so easy to get in the, this day and age in Castle Clash, right? Let's just be honest with it. As far as pay-to-play goes, I really feel like they need to implement more play-to-play just to make more, just to make pay-to-play more interested in playing the game. Like I said, I enjoy my free-to-play account right now more than my pay-to-play account because whenever I go on my pay-to-play account, I'm like, all right, well, what am I gonna do right now? I basically feel like I'm fighting against IGG to have fun in the game rather than fighting against other players in competitions, right? Because let's face it, if you go into arena, all these all these game modes. It's just not there. Like, what are pay-to-play really getting out of it besides coming in first place whenever all that many people aren't even really being competitive with the game mode? doesn't really feel like you've accomplished much. That's what pay-to-play needs more of. We need more things to where we feel like we're accomplishing something, right? We're running a game mode or we're running something, and we're getting paid off for doing that. Like, a good example would maybe be, I always say this in the past, like, put in some rewards Maybe they can't be purchasable or just better rewards in general to have pay-to-play players. Maybe some better lead leaderboards. That would maybe get the things going. Like, I don't know. I feel like Arena is just kind of lame. They put the they put the first player in there, the second and third. But then all in all, the rewards are still like, what, 200 fame with, I think, some honor badges? The rewards are just so low. Throw some new Karamic Rocks in there. Throw some Igniting, some Zenith, some Apex Crystals. Get people more amped up to actually run these game modes. And for Lost Battlefield, throw like two to 5,000 gems at the end. Well, maybe not 5,000, but 2,000, 1,000 to 2,000 gems at the end of the week would be pretty nice for Lost Battlefield. Allow free-to-play players and other players in general just to be able to roll for more heroes in the game, buy more things from the discount store, and also change the odds of Thunder God's Gift. Goodness gracious, haven't you noticed like hardly anybody does Thunder God's Gift, especially on free-to-play accounts? Even heavy, most heavy pay-to-play accounts don't even think about it. The reward, the rewards just aren't that there. You can buy a Levanica this day and age for like 20 bucks, sometimes even less if you get lucky. And it would take, what, like 500,000 gems on Thunder God's Gift. I might make a video, actually, on Thunder God's Gift today just uh, for fun. You know what I mean? I like doing that on my main account because I have 2 million gems, so why not test it out? All right, so let's go ahead and answer this up. So what do we got to do again? We got to do each IGG ID is only eligible to receive the study prize once, entry, yada, yada, yada. All right, so just basically say anything that's going to... Do you have anything to say to IGG and Castle Clash? All right, so my IGG ID is, or actually, I am on iOS. iOS, IGG ID is 34045628. Now this is on my free to play account, right? Because I don't really care about any other accounts. Um, please make all game modes have better rewards. Please make all game modes have better rewards. Squad Showdown needs to be upgraded one time. What other game modes like are just struggling? Maybe Arid Ruins? Arid Ruins needs to have changed soul stones, right? Because all the soul stones are just out of date, in my opinion. Like, whenever I went back, I'm like, Trixie Treat, like, Lil Nick, Rockno, like, come on, man. We need we need more upgraded soul stones. Maybe even throw some Karamic Rocks in the Arid Ruins at a small chance to get or Igniting Zenith Stones, you know what I mean? Any of that stuff. Arid Ruins needs upgraded, upgraded rewards as well. 
Um, what else? I mean, I could say Lost Battlefield, all this other stuff, but I feel like they already know. They're just being freaking hard-headed. Come on, IGG. Change your rewards. Is that all we need to do right there? Let me double-check this. Do you have anything you want to say to IGG and Castle Clash? Now, on a positive note, I've had fun in the last five years playing Castle Clash, so I don't want to just completely not Castle Clash every time I do like some sort of video like this. But let's be honest, they do, they should change, they should just keep up with it, right? They should change a couple things that I feel like are very simple to change but could have a heavy impact on the game, such as changing up the rewards, right? Yeah, it would. It would be a very impactful decision. All right, yeah, so I mean, this is pretty much it. Make sure you guys don't slack on the event. Like I said, it is on there for a while. They have 770 comments already. That's absolutely insane. So what are people saying? Android, thank you for all these years and congratulations. Happy anniversary. I think it's the best mobile game ever made. I would like to spend more money on this game. You don't see comments like that every day. Goodness gracious, I agree. Happy anniversary. I mean, to make it five years on a mobile game is absolutely insane. The game is still a really good game, but it could still be improved at you know, really improved now just because they kind of washed away all the old game modes, in my opinion, and just haven't updated anything. If they update some of this stuff, IGG can bring Castle Clash back to probably, I mean, it is, in my opinion, still one of the best mobile games, but the overall bet, I mean, it still has potential to be the best mobile game out there. Like, come on, IGG, step up. All right, let's go ahead and enter that, and good luck to all you guys, but for now, I am out of here. Peace out, fellas.